we talk about whole foods, we talk about um, <clears throat> exposing yourselves to nature, sunshine, pure water, all the different pure forces of the nature itself. We try to talk all about that, but we don't have enough ability to actually sit and think and ponder that how does this nature wants me to think, behave, and act. How does it want me to relax? How does it want me to unwind? How does it want me to actually support and prevent the chaos, whatever I am creating in my life? When you sleep for about seven, eight hours, when you are completely exhausted and tired and you wake up in the morning, how do you feel? You had a good night's sleep, how do you feel? Feel good? What has happened? What has happened? Not enough, isn't it? Not enough. How, how do you feel and why do you feel good? Because you have done an activity which has slowed down your mind. That's what happens, isn't it, when you slow? It has slowed down your body, so you're not running around crazily, using your bones, muscles, and tissues, okay? You have, for God's sake, eight hours, you haven't put anything in your mouth, okay? <laughs> and so, yeah, those seven, eight hours, you are either dead or alive. You're like a dead log there, isn't it? In your bed, you are like a big log which is breathing somehow, that's all. And so you spend about one third of your life sleeping and you wake up recharged. You wake up recharged and then you get started where your mind will take a little bit time to start working and thinking, but thereafter you will feel good and then you will start burning it up and then it will just take you back into your protection and will recharge the batteries of you and then you will be an energizer bunny next day. So when we say that, if at all nature's ability for me to think, allow, ponder is only when I sleep, can I create some states during my day which allows me to connect with this whole pulsating, vibrating universe around me, which actually guides me in every little activity I do, every little decision I make, every little thinking I do where I have to actually connect and align myself exactly how these things are coming not from my individual petty mind, but coming from a cosmic mind. That flexibility of your nervous system, that ability of refinement of your experience where you are slightly detaching yourself from the good and bad and outcome and likes and dislikes of that instant situation allows you to think right. When you are entangled to things too closely, you can't think, you can't decide, isn't it? When you are holding a book so close, you can't read it. You have to hold it a little bit back, then you can see and read it, isn't it? So if, if a situation is very entangled, your ability to step back and relax. What we did just before the class started, just for a moment, a couple of minutes, we closed our eyes and we let our body know that we are here and we are going to start something which is a little bit different than what I was doing since morning, okay? You just changed the state of your awareness by a conscious activity of letting your body know what you were trying to do, which actually allows your body, mind to be naturally present during that activity. So if you are, if you are texting while listening to me, Either you are texting or listening to me. You are not doing both the things at the same time. You think you are doing both the things, but you are not, okay? If you are eating while watching television, you are either doing one of the things, okay? Or anything else. And we do these so-called multitasking activity all the time. And which is the culprit which go from point A to point B quite, quite quickly and briskly is your mind, isn't it? Either it is texting, telling your motor coordination where the buttons are, or you are listening through your senses and then maybe suddenly you go look up and ask a question, okay? And then you go back into your, your own thing, what you were doing. So when we are looking at our mind as a link which allows us to connect with that experience, can I just guide this monkey regularly so that it doesn't get chaotic, but it harnesses its energy? How can you conserve your energy of your mind. That's the trick. Because that is the tool which connects your intellect to what you should be doing. 
okay it is it is what your outside world you are trying to project or gather information or do actions and everything is whether it is connected with your individual intellect which is also connected with the cosmic intellect and that is the connecting link the moment that connecting link is gone is not there it is problematic if you train your kids to do like that from from since they were born okay their mind is all over they can't sit quietly they are not able to focus their concentration is weak and poor they are they are constantly into this sensory stimulation throughout the day you can't expect anything more than that okay because this is the way you train this is the way you exercise the muscle of your mind 